Okay, everybody, this is the video I've been wanting to do all day long since I found out about this bit of news. And shout out to my subscribers who sent it to me. Um, this is an update to the shooting of uh, Emantic Bradford, also known as EJ. You know, he was the black man that was killed inside of that mall in Alabama during Black Friday over Thanksgiving weekend, however you want to put it. And he unfortunately tragically lost his life because of mistaken identity what they say and when a cop shot him right in the face and i i still can't get that image out of my head i actually for the first time i think yesterday saw the image that wasn't edited or blurred out so i actually saw it i can't believe i actually brought myself to open up that picture but now i really can't get it out of my head but anyway they eventually did catch the shooter that they were looking for and this is his picture right here. His name is Aaron Brown. And according to the articles that I have skimmed over, he has a pretty layered past as far as criminal history. Now, in this particular, you know, case, while he did get involved with, you know, a shooting, you know, and everything like that in Emantic Brown, I mean, not Brown, Bradford was the one that was exchanging fire with him. He was the one that got away and Emantic Bradford was the one that was killed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read from heavy.com because, you know, I love when they do their five facts you need to know segment about a particular person. So I'm trying to see and dive a little bit more into who this guy is. The first part, it says he faces one count of attempted murder. Now, if you didn't know, two people were shot. One of the people, it turns out, was EJ's friend. He was the one that was shot. And this that's where the attempted murder charge comes in. The other person that was shot, of course, was EJ himself in which he was killed. But that wasn't by his gun. It says he faces on charge of attempted murder in the shooting of Brian Wilson, who was the friend of Emantic Bradford, and Bradford was the one who was shot and killed. It says Brown was found after authorities received a tip about his whereabouts and his bond has been set at $125,000. The second part is the Alabama mall shooting left two people injured and one dead, which we already um, specified. Um... Okay, I'm looking at this part right here, and this is the part that I was looking at. It says Brown will not be charged for the death of Bradford. That was the part that I was really looking for, because you never know. They'll probably say, well, he if he didn't do this, then uh, Emantic Bradford would be alive. You, do you realize that they are out there right now trying to blame EJ for his own death? I said, as wicked as this guy is right here for literally causing this to really happen, I still wouldn't be the heartless person that's charged him with his murder because he wasn't the one that did it. And speaking of charging the murder, we still don't even know the name or the face of the cop that shot and killed EJ in the first place. Who is the one that should be charged with murder, if you want to be quite honest. But to be honest, they wouldn't even charge him with first degree murder. They would probably hit him with some kind of manslaughter charge, some low level um, crime. If they even charged the pig. The next part is. The mall shooting made national headlines after Bradford was erroneously identified as the shooter. You know, it that is very interesting. Lamestream media can put out anything about a black person that comes out in a negative light, even if it is a lie. And they will automatically eat it all up. They did the same thing with Micah Johnson. When those two brothers were apprehended because they were carrying these large military artillery type of weapons, the media immediately ran with that those were the brothers involved with the shooting meanwhile they still never found out who the shooter was and they found and they knew they had to eat crow because the shooting was still happening while they were in custody and they was like okay so we uh we messed up we got to let them go i even think they apologized to them and to be honest even if they didn't i wouldn't have accepted it because you embarrassed me and you humili humiliated me in front of the world I don't want your apology. You can keep it. That's basically how I would have took it. Um, let me see. Let me keep on scrolling. Number four. It says, in addition to a charge of attempted murder, Brown will, will likely face more charges. It says he's currently being held on one count of attempted murder, but they say he's most likely to receive additional charges. And the last part, it says, one of the people injured in the shooting, a 12-year-old girl, was aided by an Army National Guard soldier. 
And ironically, the person who aided in that 12 year old girl being saved was another black man by the name of Rashad Billingsley. I'm looking at his picture right now. So here you have three black men. One who was the shooter whose picture you're looking at right now, who they were looking for, to the one that they killed because of mistaken identity. For well, well, EJ's friend, I'm not sure the exact uh what the race of him is, but let's hypothetically say he's black too. He's the one that was shot and almost got killed. And then for the guy who shielded this 12-year-old girl who we're just now learning about. Now, this shooting happened. Um, about a, almost a week ago. Why are we just now learning about Rashad Billingsley, another black hero? As a matter of fact, let me pause this right quick and see if I can find his picture so y'all can see who he is. Here he is right here. This is Rashad Billingsley. Now, what's crazy is he's a part of the National Guard, as you can see by his fatigues, just like Emantic Bradford was a part of the military. And you know the lamestream media love to come out and say, oh, well, he didn't finish, he didn't complete, so we can't really count him this, that, and if there anything to go against the whole, oh, they love the, they were so patriotic, they love this, that, and the third. Well, here you go, here's another hero. I know he's a little bit darker than you know you was expecting the white knight, but we didn't exactly get that. But here we go yet again. We have a black man who is the hero. This is like, how many black heroes are we up to this year? About six? We even had some across the pond. But they don't get the recognition like that that they deserve. I'm glad that James Shaw Jr. got recognition. And he's still getting recognition. But there are some others out there that don't really get headline news like that. Or should, you know, get invited to talk shows and things of that nature. I mean... <sighs> but I guess, but you know, that's what you have people like myself for. At least I'm glad that I can help bring some attention to this. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in, um, down in the comments below. I'll leave the links in the description, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.